Yo, what's going on YouTube? It is the Master Gamer giving you a brand new video. In this video, we're gonna break down how to get this Rod Woodson. Um, it was from a promo a couple weeks back, and I'm noticing a lot of people kind of want to use this card now and didn't really then, and are kind of lost in how to do it. So I just want to break down how to get this card. Very good card, as you can see, 88 speed. 90, 90 man, or 89 man, 89 zone, and then very easy to boost up to 90s. High play rack, he's six foot, good speed, agility, height, low on the sour cap, but that he's only 40. 95 return, he has good moves. So like, he's a very good card. And we're just gonna solve this very quickly. So all you're gonna wanna do, it's not the easiest process in the world, don't get me wrong, it's, it's not a card that you can just buy in the auction block. But what you need to do is you need to go to these Hall of Fame sets. And you're gonna need to go to this set right here. The 80 overall Nat Hall of Fame Fantasy Pack. That's gonna give you one of the five choices, which is the Terrell Owens, the Brian Erlacher, the Terrell Davis, the Dan Marino, and the Rod Woodson. What goes in these sets are five of the base cards. Now you don't have to buy these off the auction block, because as you can see, they're kind of expensive. Around 16K a piece. There's not a lot on the auction block. It's not gonna do enough for you. What you're gonna have to do is you're gonna need to trade in trophies. You get trophies through playing the game, whether it be through Mutt Seasons, whether it be through Sour Cap, Draft Champions. You need to get, you need to come together and accumulate 98 trophies, which as you're doing uh, like objectives, it actually doesn't take too long of, for a reference point. The Series 1 David Johnson is less trophies than that, or more trophies than that rather. It's 110. And that's not too hard to get if you're grinding the game, playing the game a lot. So, it's not that big of a grind. However, it's definitely somewhat of a grind. It's not by any means a, a card that you can just buy in the auction block. It's a card that, as you're playing and playing the game, you're going to want to use eventually. So, the second you can get them, just save up those trophies, put them in those sets, keep upgrading your player. And when you get those pieces for the sets, you're gonna have to upgrade them. So I'm gonna use the Terrell Davis for example right here because that's the card that I actually don't have all the way tiered up at the moment. So as you're gonna see, oops, go to upgrade. And you have to upgrade them normally through your training. And then once you get to about tier six, it start, starts to require the collectibles and then so on. And you upgrade, 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 and you get them to their full versions. And you should do that through, I think it's from 86 on, yeah. So it's training for one through five, and then past that it's the collectibles. And it's gonna take, again, 98 series one trophies. So you can do that through playing Mutt, through playing Sour Cap, and through playing Draft Champions. You're building a Sour Cap team trying to grind Sour Cap. Obviously Sour Cap is the way to go. Fortunately, you can't just start your team with him, but through playing, you'll be able to get the card. So he'll still eventually be in your team. Um, if you're still looking for trophies and not really, haven't really started yet, through the Series 1 multiplayer, as you win more and more games, you're gonna get trophies through here. So again, uh, win a game, you get a trophy. In five games, you get two trophies. 10 games, three. 15, three. 23, 25, three. It goes on for a while, but eventually it starts kind of racking up, so again, 75, 8, 113, and even then throughout you'll also be getting, I think it's 8 a season. I'm not sure exactly how many trophies you get a season salary cap, um, but I can check right now. But as you can see, you get 15 trophies a season, so it doesn't take too long to do. It's, again, it's not like you get them immediately, but factor in 15, 30, 45, 60, 75, 90. It's about 7 to 8 seasons. New factor in the objectives, which isn't too bad. And again, for one of the best corners in the game, very good. Like it's, he's a corner that he's almost a must on salary cap right now, in my personal opinion. So yeah, that's that's how you get him. It's not, fortunately, it's not as easy as just buying him on the block. But that's how you get him. There you go. As always, I hope this video helped you out. It's been the Master Gamer. I'm out.